Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading. We're going to be diving deep into this reading as usual to see the messages that are here and what you need to know at this present moment in time. As usual, it is always important to allow your intuition to be here and to understand that you need to use your own wisdom and your own discernment to grasp the messages that are just for you. So let's get started and to see the messages that are here. The first card that is coming up for you, the divine is saying that it is going to be important for you to understand that you need to keep some things private. Don't share with other people your hopes, your dreams. Don't share with other people your next move. Even if you think these people are rooting for you, the divine is saying that you don't really know what's going on with someone. You don't really know their heart. They might be clapping for you, they might be smiling, they might be saying all these wonderful things, but deep down in their heart and in their soul, you just could be dealing with some people who are truly wanting to sabotage your success, your victory. So the divine is saying, be quiet and just understand that your privacy is going to be important. I'm also hearing that for some of you, it is going to be important to go and change your passwords on your computer Go and change any digital type of security locks that might have to your front door, to a safety lock, to whatever it is, to a safety box even. Go and change things because they just could be someone who is watching you and they just could be coming in and wanting to steal from you. That's just a message that came in. Make sure your doors at night are locked. Make sure you're taking security and your privacy really, really important. Check your settings on Facebook, on social media accounts to make sure that your security is top notch. Okay, the next card that we have, the divine is saying that there's a situation that is currently starting to turn toxic. Maybe you know what this situation is all about. Or maybe, like I said, there just could be someone who is planning and plotting in the background to steal from you, to sabotage you, to bring you down. There's just someone who is bringing a very deceptive type of energy to the table. So the divine is saying to you, it is going to be important to be quiet, to be very silent, to keep your cards close to your chest. Even if you feel that you trust someone, even if they're family, just be very, very cautious because maybe you could just have a fallout. And now they have all this information that they can use against you. They have all this intel that they can just go and start spreading rumors, twisted with some sprinkling of truth. And before you know it, a whole community, your workplace, the people that you care about, your friends could all turn against you. So just be very cautious because there just could be something that is brewing in the background and you are not currently aware of this, okay? Again, wow, this um, card came up in the last reading and we're receiving the same type of energy. The divine is saying, be quiet, work in silence. Don't allow people to see your next moves. Don't allow people to predict what you're going to do next. For some of you, even if you take the same route home all the time, go a different way, especially if you're walking home at night alone and you always take the same route, go a different way because there just could be someone who's observing, who is watching you, who is planning and plotting. Leave home 10 minutes early, okay? Do things different, just like, just muddle up your, your, your predictable schedule. Just do things to confuse someone because there is just something that feels to me that someone is gathering intel against you. The divine is saying that for some of you, there just is an energy where you are self-sabotaging yourself, where you could be getting in your own way. This is going to be the perfect time to start looking at any self-sabotaging behaviors and dealing with these as well. Because some of these self-sabotaging behaviors what I'm hearing, they are connected to, you get a warning from the divine. My ear is ringing right now, so this is really important. You get a warning from the divine, you get a tip off, and you're like, ah, it's just a reading. You run into course, some coincidences, and you brush them off as nothing. And then suddenly you're experiencing things 
turning against you. And now you start remembering all the warnings that you received. Now you start remembering the readings that you had, but it's too late. So the divine is saying that's how you could be sabotaging yourself. These readings and these messages, you are here. This is synchronized for a reason. So the divine is saying to you, shift your schedule, do things differently because there is just someone who is hiding their true colors. There is just someone who could be watching you. There is just someone who is collecting data and they plan to use that data. They plan to use that intel against you. So it is important for you not to be oversharing your hopes, your dreams, your plans, like I already told you. It is really important for you to be very cautious about what you're telling people about yourself because there just could be something that goes wrong and now all that information is going to be used against you. So the divine is bringing that message to the table for a reason. What we're going to do is I'm going to take these cards and see what they have to say. As I'm getting your cards, I want to remind you that we have our candle magic ceremony that is happening on the 1st of August. You are invited. We're working with the energies of manifesting our hopes, our dreams, and our desires in our candle magic prayer ceremony. And if you're wanting to be part of it, please go to the description box below and reserve your space on my website. And remember, please, to write your petition. Everyone who's already reserved their spaces, if you haven't sent your petition in, please do send your petition in as soon as possible. Whilst you're on my website, have a look at all the other services that I offer. Court cutting ceremonies, banishing ceremonies, removing difficult, dense, heavy energies like hexes, witchcraft, voodoo on you, whatever it is. Go and have a look at my website and see what is calling out to you. There's also honey jars that are there to bring in prosperity and success. So let's have a look to see what card you have. You are receiving our card that is saying to you that you have new beginnings that are on the table. So I feel that the divine truly wants to give you a message of keeping your cards close to your chest because there are new beautiful beginnings that are wanting to come in. And so the divine is saying, don't share with other people your victories, your success. They will speak for themselves. Stop sharing with other people before things become a reality. Wait for them to become a reality and then you can go and talk about it. It is like, for instance, when a pregnant woman first finds out she's pregnant, it is usually the dumb thing that she doesn't tell anyone that she's pregnant for at least three months or at least around the time where she has a first scan. And that is because when your plans and your hopes and your dreams, when they haven't really taken solid roots, when they are still vulnerable to outside energies, to outside attacks, this is when you start seeing, you gain momentum, you start going somewhere, you get that positive pregnancy test, and then you're too excited, you want to tell people about the good things that are coming into your life, you go and tell people, and suddenly, Everything that was starting to blossom, everything that was starting to come into your life, suddenly it shrivels up and it's gone. So this is why the divine is saying there are new beginnings that are here. It is important for you to be excited, to be hopeful, to be optimistic, but at the same time to be very secretive and not to tell anyone about what is happening for you. All right. So let's get our tarot cards to see what the messages are here. So let's have a look to see. Okay. You've received two cards so far. We're going to be looking at those in a moment. Okay. You received Ten of Cups. Love this for you. We were talking about pregnancy. What is the card with a pregnant woman? It is the Empress. In this deck, maybe you don't really see it as clearly, but the empress is usually pregnant with child because she's about to give birth to a new beginning, to a new chapter. And again, remember I told you about coincidences. I told you to notice things. 
And this is why the divine has given you this card that is here to confirm the messages that I've already told you. I told you that when a pregnant woman is pregnant, she doesn't tell people. This is the usually done thing. She keeps things secret until the thing is done. And you received the Ten of Cups telling you that your wishes are coming true. And it is interesting that here, our couple here have their little babies. So it is important for you to not say anything, to keep your pregnancy a secret. And it doesn't have to be like just pregnant women. This could be you pregnant and you're about to birth forward and you're beginning a new chapter in your business. You're about to do something new. There are new potentials that are on the cards where the divine is saying, keep these new potentials secret. Don't tell anyone anything until it's the right time because you're going to be seeing that now that you've birthed forward your wishes and your dreams which is connected to the energies of the ten of cups your wishes are coming true and the divine is saying that now people are going to be able to see the results and the results will speak for themselves like i already told you isn't it amazing that the cards are telling you exactly the same thing that we already spoke about and the last card that you have, Taurus, the divine is saying that indeed you are going to be walking away from toxic people and toxic situations. I already told you that you could be encountering those people who are envious, they're jealous, they are snakes. And look at our card of the Six of Swords. Isn't it repeating the same type of message that our Oracle cards already told you? And look at you now. You have found out and you've seen some people's true colors. And now you can be bothered to keep on explaining yourself to these snakes, to keep on explaining to these green-eyed monsters. And you're starting to move and walk away because these people bring nothing but drama and turbulence into your life. And you finally say, enough is enough because I am going to a more peaceful chapter to birth forward my new beginnings. I am going to a more peaceful chapter to enjoy my wishes coming true. So the divine is saying that for some of you, there just could be relationships that are ending. You just could be walking away from things that have been working out for a really long time. Because you're knowing that by staying in situations that bring you nothing but drama, that bring you down, you are actively blocking your blessings. So the energies of the six of swords, it's saying that it is time. And the energies of our work in silence card is really wanting to speak clearly to you to remind you that indeed you are going to be seeing positive results happening for you. You're going to be getting that positive test. You're going to be getting a confirmation that your dreams are going to be becoming a reality. And this is going to be happening within the next couple of weeks and even this month. So... The divine wants you to understand why it is important for you to remain silent when you start seeing your hopes, your dreams, your manifestations starting to blossom, starting to flow into your life, starting to bear fruits. You are not saying anything. You are just sitting there quietly and you are just enjoying watching what is happening. And before you know it, those blossoms are going to be growing into something that is going to bring a lot of joy, love into your life, where your cups feel like they're overflowing. So I really love these energies that I hear for you, Taurus. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.